Now, for a good portion of the story, we weren't exactly sure how one would reach Rafto and find the One Piece to essentially become the Pirate King. This was how it was for the entirety of the pre time skip. Now, granted, we did learn about Rafto early on in the series from Crocus at Reverse Mountain, where he stated that Rafto was the final destination in the Grand Line and that the only ones to have ever gone there was Roger and his crew. However, at this point in time, Rafto was still revered as a legend and something that doesn't necessarily exist, which makes sense because no one had discovered it in a very long time. And this also goes back to Bellamy and um, Jaya being one of the many who don't believe in the legends. And then from then on, we also got Whitebeard during Marineford with him confirming the existence and of course coming from someone, a pirate of his level and reputation and someone who was said to be the closest person to the One Piece, people's belief that it existed was sort of reinvigorated it again and then in Sabodi we met Rayleigh and he was at the point where he could have or he wanted to tell the Straw Hats about the nature of the One Piece and what it entails in which Luffy denies as he wants to feel the thrill of an adventure by himself but again like I mentioned before the Straw Hats as a crew didn't really make any progress apart from the fact that they needed to go into the new world to get more answers and keep moving forward using the log post in hopes that the information that they needed would appear before them and it was only till they arrived in Zo that we got a massive dump of information about Rafto or specifically how to get to Rafto. And from then on, things were made very clear about the path that they needed to make in order to reach Rafto. And as stated by Inu and Neko, it was pretty much explained that the only way to make it to Rafto is by getting or deciphering all the four road poneglyph, which each one pointing towards a specific location. And once all those locations are known, each point can be marked on the map and at the point where they intersect is where Rafto will be. And judging by how Inu worded it, it seems that you have to go to all marked location to turn on a switch or something of that sort because it was stated that Rafto will emerge, which makes it seem like you have to do certain things before making it to that location, unless nothing would happen if you go to the intersection without going to the marked location. Again, most likely some sort of fail safe in order for people not to mistakenly find it. And so with that reveal, the goal was clear for the straw hats and luckily enough not only did they find out about what they needed they also had one of the pieces right there and so with one of the road poneglyphs already in their possession and i'm guessing they've already marked the location because robin has already deciphered it so that's one out of the way three more to go now we also learned about kaido and big mom having one of these road poneglyphs in their possession as well and so which set the idea about the straw hats next move and of course this all tied perfectly because we had a story arc involving sanji and big mom and also one with Momo and Kaido. So everything fit perfectly. But at this point, the Straw Hats had only one in their possession, which leaves three more to go. And then we move on to Whole Cake, in which they were able to get the rubbings of the second Poneglyph through Brooke's finessing ways. But not only that, they also obtained two of the nine Rio Poneglyph, which brings them to a total of four Poneglyph rubbings in total. Two Rio Poneglyphs and the two Road Poneglyphs. And of course, the next target was Claire. And that target was Wano, in which they are currently going to war against the beast pirates and the shogun now brooke was able to confirm the existence of a poneglyph but it wasn't a red one but we do know kaido has one of the road poneglyphs confirmed by neko and so going with the idea that kaido will most likely get taken down this arc and even if he doesn't the straw hats are definitely going to take the rubbins of the road poneglyph that he has which is probably on onigashima and so after wano we can definitely say for a hundred percent that the straw hats will have three road poneglyphs in their possession which technically makes them by default the closest individuals to the one piece even more so than the other yonkos and we know for sure that big mom has only one as mentioned by tamago back in hokik island we know kaido most likely has one as well based on what the information that we got from neko and in terms of the other yonkos like shanks and blackbeard we cannot say for sure but given several elements we know that we know about shanks it's fair to say that he doesn't have any um interest in it because it seems like he doesn't really care about the one piece it seems like he has a much different goal than the other yonkos however he might be affiliated with something that's related to the one piece not necessarily the stones but perhaps the final island in, in the new world uh which was um uh, stated to be lodestar but when it comes to shanks again i personally don't think that he has any interest in becoming the pirate king or finding the one piece for that matter so i don't think he has any of the stones in his possessions however i think he holds some Ro 
role in making sure that the wrong person doesn't get to the one piece aka blackbeard and talking about blackbeard we have no idea where he stands but i also doubt that he has any as well however i think blackbeard will obtain them somehow just because i feel like he's luffy's end game competition for the one piece so technically after wano the straw hats will be very close to the one piece with three road poneglyphs uh at their possession and at this point the straw hats will have the one up against the other yonkos not just in terms of how much stones that they have but also because they have robin on their on their crew who is is the only person that we know in the current timeline that is able to read poneglyphs and even in zo neko hints towards the possibility that robin could possibly get captured later in the story and i can definitely see blackbeard uh, doing something like that but that's a huge maybe but the assets that the straw hats will have after wano would or should make them the biggest threat to the world government now this also raises a huge question as to where the last poneglyph is people speculate that elbaf will have the last one or perhaps even the world government has the last one and i think it makes sense that this poneglyph sh will be the hardest for the straw hats to obtain because this will be the one that will take them to the one piece and it seems that once the one piece is found there is going to be a war so it is very possible that elbaf will have this one because people have the assumption that that will be the last island that the straw hats will go to apart from lodestar obviously and rafto itself now finding the one piece is one thing but i feel like the pirate king title also comes with some form of prestige and both strength and power and i think this is why oda made luffy the fifth emperor after whole cake because he was setting something up granted we know that he's not on that level yet but after wano that title would be more validated because of things we think should happen at the end of this arc kaido's defeat being the biggest one if they were able to take out a yonko that is said to be immortal this would no doubt solidify luffy's position as the fifth emperor and i think it's only right to say that luffy will be teethering on on admiral level at this point whereas he's able to contest with an admiral by himself we saw how much he grew with someone like katakuri we can only imagine how much stronger he's going to get after kaido's downfall so the ripples and the implication for what the straw hat crew for the straw hat crew after wano is going to be massive to the point that people would start to recognize them and luffy as the closest person or the closest individuals to the one piece sort of in the same way people regarded whitebeard after roger died so so after Wano, Luffy may have a reputation that surpasses the current Yonko, and this may attract new followers to his crew. He's going to be strong enough to possibly compete with top tiers, not saying that he's going to be as strong as the Yonko, but he's definitely, you know, getting closer to that point. He's possibly going to have Wano as one of his territories, given that Wano will be once open to the outside world. I think it's fair to say that he would take this island under his flag, just like he did uh, with Fishman Island, and he might also take some of kaido's other territories as well i think kid might take a portion of that too and in terms of allies and connection luffy is stacked we know that he has the grand fleet with almost 5,000 members with uh, 10 notorious commanders and we also know that they are going to be responsible for a great event that happens later in the future now i'm not sure if that happens in wano or later on in the series in the final war but it is supposed to be a great event and one that i'm guessing affects the entirety of the one piece world and we also have characters like dragon and garp i could see these characters playing a role later as well especially dragon just because of the uh build-up that we've had with the revolutionary army and his goal to take out the celestial dragons it's only fair to say that we have high expectations on what he plans to do moving forward and then you also have the three ancient weapons it seems like from how the story is setting up luffy is going to have connections to all of them we know that he has access to poseidon he has um little tidbits with pluton here and there we know that frankie had the uh, the blueprints of pluton and on how to create something that is akin to it and my bet is that he might have incorporated some of those things into the sunny and uranus might be connected to luffy we, we don't know what the last ancient weapon is but you know given the track records we, we're seeing with the other ancient weapons more than likely it could be connected to luffy as well and as far as luffy's bounty goes after wano i think it goes up to about four billion bears and i think i I will probably make a separate video talking about this and possibly higher based on how i think he might be the biggest threat after wano but i do think it will be lower than dragons but i'm definitely looking forward to how things are going to turn out in wano as that is what i believe is the signal for the end game of one piece and i think this portion of one piece will be the most tense part of the series uh you know dragon the marines how 
will characters like Blackbeard and Shanks move and what role will Emu Sama play as well as the great cleansing mentioned by the Gorosei. Whatever it is, I think we're going to have a great time. But that is pretty much it for this video guys. Where do you guys see Luffy at the end of Wano in terms of reputation, strength and just overall influence in the One Piece world? Do you guys think he's going to be as strong as the Admirals and if so, comment down below what you guys think. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe for more One Piece content on this channel. It is Pharaoh, and I will see you folks later. Peace.